All right, boys, we are back with yet another Ice Ramen Origins video. Uh, in the last video, we actually got new natures. We got water release and earth release. I do not have a move for either of these as of right now, but I am just remembering, actually, I do have a rock, rock armor scroll, so we can actually learn this. Boom, and now we have our first earth jutsu. Now, um, this isn't going to really do us any good, but uh, I will show you guys this. It's pretty cool. We hit the gritty when we uh, when we run, but something cool. We get uh, resistance for like 30 seconds. It's nothing like major or anything like that, but it is an earth jutsu. So technically we do now know an earth jutsu. But um, in this video, we're going to be trying to unlock some of our uh, basically Naruto Uzumaki powers now. To do that, um, we're going to need a Naruto Uzumaki scroll, and I'm hoping to get Rasengan first, but if we get Rasen Shuriken, that would be even cooler. Um, I think that what I want to do... Now, the reason that I'm going to do this, obviously, is the Rasengan uh, from the Uzumaki clan is actually a very, very detailed jutsu. Not everybody can do the Rasengan, and uh, luckily... If I'm able to do it, that means that I have better control over my chakra. Now, I'm hoping that uh, if I can control my chakra, this is going to lead me to be able to, you know, obviously learn some more earth jutsus, learn water, and then uh, confront a wear body about, you know, obviously learning wood jutsu. That's kind of what we're on the path to right now is learning that earth jutsu so that we can, or sorry, that wood jutsu so that we can be one step closer to nature as per um, this last book. Um, wait, actually, no, it wasn't that one. Um, hmm, I guess I don't have the book on me anymore. But basically, the book said that uh, I had to I had to get closer to nature energy and getting wood jutsu would be the start of that. So that's kind of the path that we're taking right now. But um, let's go ahead and get this started. If you guys want to join this server, the link is in the description. Link for the mod is in the description. Server is free to play. There is a ton of people playing it. So make sure you guys hop on and, uh, you know, give it a shot. So what I'm going to do to learn this first Naruto Uzumaki Jutsu is head over to the Land of Tide because they actually gave us most of the scrolls that we have right now and the DNA for helping them in the war. So I'm hoping that the sages can become not allies with them, but maybe we can, you know, uh, be friends in a way, I guess. Not technically allies because we're not supposed to ally with anybody. Um, as sages, we're supposed to stay neutral, but, you know, neutral means that we also have to, um, you know, befriend some people. So we're going to go ahead and head over there now, see if maybe they can point us in the right direction. All right, so we're at the Tide Village. Um, there's actually quite a few people here, so hopefully they're chill. But uh, let's see if we can talk to the Kage. Oh, wait, he's actually right there, and <laughs> he's got a parrot on his shoulder. I uh, was, hey, I was waiting for you. Oh, you you expected me to come by? Yeah, I kind of expected you after the war today. Well, yeah, congratulations on uh, yeah, congratulations on winning the first war. I mean, the tide well, thank is... Thank you for uh, helping out. Yeah, I'm, you know, my pleasure. The sages are always, um, you know, at help of whoever needs it. So I don't exactly know what our... You know, agenda's gonna be in war times yet, but uh, you guys were the first people that we sided with, so I figured I would uh, come back here and first of all say thank you for you know letting us participate with you guys and thank you for the rewards that you gave us. But oh, um, no worries. Secondly, um, I'm kind of here to um, you know, obviously you guys are strong and uh, you guys have a lot of stuff, but I'm here to kind of ask if you would be able to help me, you know, further my Naruto Uzumaki powers. Oh, yeah. Actually, about that, I've been expecting. So I've been doing some preparations to maybe further help you on your journey. Okay, wait, you've heard the journey that I'm on? I've heard rumors. I guess these parrots hear a lot, huh? Oh, they hear everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, If you could follow me, though, I, I will further the this conversation. Okay. This is a uh, pretty cool Kage office you got here. Are you going to be mm -hmm. expanding it soon? Oh, yeah. I definitely need an actual office, too. Yeah. Uh, this is my advisor, Danny. Oh, hey. Hello. How's it going, Danny? Good. How are you? Doing pretty good. I see you're uh, part of the Huga clan. Yeah. Sweet. Pretty useful. All right. As we were going Ooh, on. Palace Gardens. Oh, this is cool. I've actually never seen this before. This is awesome. Yeah, it's a little, little neat area. Yeah. But, um... So yeah, about the uh, furthering your journey. So I heard within your powers, you uh, 
Yeah, that's that's the bird. Oh. That's the bird. It it just <laughs> hears a parrot and it, it does. It it's does a joking little, uh, around. Oh, it does man. a little okay. noise, yeah. <laughs> but um, I heard on this journey you may need help with chakra control, so I believe one of my ninjas can can help you out with that. Hey, uh, hey, really? Danny. Yeah. Can you can you go fetch Draco? All right. Well, Draco, right, I think I think I've heard that name before. I think uh, I think I was fighting alongside him in the war a little bit. Yeah, he is a he's a very skilled ninja of mine. Yeah, he uh he doesn't seem to mess around too much. No, he's he's a very serious guy. Almost too serious. Scary. <laughs> Alright, this should be rounding the corner here now. Here he there is. we are. Hello, oh, yeah, I got what something. the heck? Wait, he hey, looks Draco. different. What the heck? Wait. What's up with what's up with your skin? You look different from before. Uh yeah, so I was born with this with this curse seal on me. I can't really tell you how it works completely. I just know I was born with it. And mm. as I got, got older older, I just started to be able to control it more. Does it I don't feel any chakra. Is it is it chakra controlled or is it something else? Something else. I'm just not totally sure what it is yet. Interesting. We might we might be able to talk later on that. I I'm you know, experimenting kind of with these things that uh, aren't based on chakra. So maybe this, uh, what did you call it? A curse seal? Yes. Maybe that'll have something to do with it. And you were born with this power, though? Yes. Okay. Maybe maybe me and you can talk eventually, but um, sorry, OZ. Uh, sorry to cut you off, but that, no uh, that curse mark right. kind of interests me. No, um, if I believe, it's based off of nature. I do believe. It's kind of what you're what you're going after. Okay, interesting. But that's that's all I know as of right now. Right, but I also know. So you're part of the Uzumaki clan, right? Naruto I am. Uzumaki yeah. Clan? I am. All right, so I got something for you. I'm pretty sure okay. that's why my father summoned me. So I'm that, assuming that is that also... that's why. Ooh. Oh, okay, Naruto Uzumaki scroll. So wait, this is going to be what I can use to either get Rasengan or, or if I'm lucky enough, Rasen Shuriken, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So I think when you open that scroll, it's most likely going to be Rasengan because you kind of need Rasengan for Rasen Shuriken. Okay. Because it's, it's all based off of chakra control. Okay, and wait. A little so bit of chakra rotation. This will basically... Kind of help me on what I'm trying to do. I guess you kind of said that earlier. Um, yes. You know, with controlling chakra and everything. Um, this, this might work. So let's go ahead and pop this, see what I get. All right, I here we know. go. Uh, boom. Rasengan. Okay, wait. I actually got Rasengan. You were right. Uh, there Rasen we are. Shuriken apparently is too advanced for me right now. But this is, wait, this is really cool. With, um, with some time, you should hopefully get Rasen Shuriken. Yeah, wait, so this is six. So what do I what do I do with this? Is this uh okay, so it's not a right click uh, you, jutsu. You you just hit someone, I believe, with it. You can you um, can hit me if you want. Sorry. I'll hit Danny. He has the most health oh, here. Okay. Um Danny, are you okay with that? Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Oh, yo, oh, wait a minute. Okay. So that puts fancy like too. Yeah, that's sick actually. So wait, I can actually spam this. It takes a hundred chakra for me to use, but <laughs> that thing does quite a bit of damage. Oh wait, and it looks like somebody has a uh, hue that, actually that here me. too. Oh, that's you. Well, that is me. Okay, wait. Hair. That's actually sick. So you knew that uh, me learning this would basically be kind of. I uh, kind of knew. Yeah, I mean, so I'm I'm sorry kind of that related. I'm kind of showing like a off a cousin. little bit. Yeah, kind of showing off compared to your powers, but. Uh, <laughs> You know, uh, you know, I'm I'm hey, glad no that uh, glad that you were able to you know kind of train me in the learning mm -hmm. of Rasengan. If you don't mind, I was hoping I could also send Draco with you on a journey to become a sage, if that's all right with you. On a journey to become a sage, I mean, hopefully it, further his curse seal or whatever. Yeah, it is. that might actually make sense, Draco. Are you uh well? So I, I will warn you though. Um, it is being his a decision. sage. Being a sage means that uh, you're not aligned with a village anymore, and um, we're not too sure what our agenda is really going to be yet. Uh, that we don't really know too much at this moment. All we know is that we're kind of just supposed to help whoever's in need and try to stay as neutral as possible. Obviously, we can get hired for wars and stuff because you know we got we got those bills to pay. But um, 
you know, it's it's more of a kind of peaceful organization as of right now, at least. I like to hear that. I'm always down for a little adventure. All right. Well, I guess that uh, with your curse mark, we're going to be we might be experimenting around um, with that a little bit as the sages, because this might lead us to discover maybe some more of this. Uh, I'm going to start calling it nature energy, because it seems like that's kind of what's what is headed towards with this um, wood dragon and send you stuff. I'll, I'll catch you up as we go back to the stage jutsu place. But um, yeah, OZ, I'm glad that you're uh, kind of entrusting me with one of your strongest ninja. I hope his curse mark can help you on your journey. I'm sure it will. And um, by the way, did uh, Dr. Box stop by? Um, um, I, I kind of freed him from a five-year prison that he was in. Uh, I think he's in the village somewhere. I'm not too sure. I need to go have a chat with him. Yeah, he... Catch uh, him up on a few things. Okay, yeah, definitely do that. He seems like he could be a little bit useful. I know he's kind of out there, but... Uh, you know, I think that he might have some some good things in the future in in store. Yeah, I got you. All right, but uh, Draco, we're gonna go ahead and head out here. We'll, I'll take you back to the Sage Place and um, kind of catch you up on uh, what we're trying to do over there. But right. in the meantime, Ozzy and Danny, thank you guys for uh, thank you guys for welcoming me to the village and um, you know, helping me no learn worries. this Rasengan. No I'll be sure to uh. You know, try to help you out when I can. Uh, like I said, I gotta try to stay neutral. But um, you know, if, if you guys want to pay me again for a war, you know, I want to be too opposed <laughs> oh, to I've it. Got, so got many, many scrolls. <laughs> I'll let Danny deal with that one. All right, <laughs> he'll be the well, negotiator. All right, I'm gonna head out now. Oh God, it's raining again. I'm gonna uh, head out. I'll see you guys around. Good luck in the uh, future wars that you guys have. Thank you for stopping by. Good luck with your journey. Thank good you. Luck. So this is uh this is Gozak, um, Draco. Uh oh, you actually look kind of normal again. Your curse mark isn't permanent, it seems like, right? Uh no, I had a timer. Okay. So you can't just stay in that form forever, but so there has to be some sort of nature. I I'm just gonna keep calling it nature energy. That kind of has a nice ring to it. Some type of nature Hold energy up. or something that like you're limited to while you're in that form. Yeah, there's also two stages to it. Okay. That's actually... Do you have the second stage? The one I was in was the second stage. Okay, that was the second stage. Gotcha. All right. Well, um, welcome welcome to your new home. Uh, the, uh, the Senju guy that was here, uh, I'll catch you up on that. Do you know what a Senju is? It's some type of legendary clan that has like wood jutsu. I don't know if you've heard about them. I heard about it, but I don't know too much about it. Yeah. So basically he is uh, with us now. He was held up in like some sort of old house for like 50 years waiting for me to contact him. Um, basically, apparently I'm this child of prophecy that uh, a lot of things have aligned with. Um, and I'm supposed to become a sage is what it is called. Uh, and I'm, I'm trying to learn all these different things with like sage energy um, or nature energy, I guess. And uh, I have to get wood. But um, last time that Aware was here, he said that he felt some sort of like special energy that was around this place. I can't feel it, but um, maybe maybe it'll help you further your uh, curse mark and, um, you know, become more powerful with that if you train here more. Hopefully it might give me my brother to stay in it for longer. True. It, it might it might actually help out, but I want to test out how strong that uh, curse mark is. You said that you were in stage two when, when I saw it first. So wait, what you have on now is stage one of your curse mark that I'm assuming, right? Correct. Well, I'm willing to fight you in your stage one um, with this Rasengan. I don't, I don't think I'm ready to fight you in stage two because you're strong as is, but uh, why don't we go out in this valley out here, which by the way is a, actually a really good place to grind. A lot of mobs spawn here. Um, okay. why don't we, why don't we fight? I want to see how strong you are. And, uh, maybe if I can feel any type of different stuff, that's not chakra when I'm in battle with you. I'm ready whenever you are. All right. Three, two, one, go. What, uh, what natures do you have, by the way? Ooh, that hurts. I have four right now. Oh, yo. Okay. Wait, does that, uh, does the curse mark? Oh, you have Kirin. That's crazy. Yes. 
Okay, okay. Oh, you actually have Kenjutsu leveled up, don't you? Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Dude, I'm trying to get close. There we go. Fire, there we go. Oh, God, that Kirin might take me out. Oh, it actually missed. I'm gonna get hit by that. Okay, here we go. Oh, dude. Wind, wind nature is crazy, too. Yeah, that curse mark really seems like it. It, oh, and okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna forfeit here. I'm gonna forfeit. Oh god, am I gonna drown? No, okay. Dude, so how much damage did I do to you? I got you down to well, almost half. half. Yeah, that's not, that's not too terrible. Um, maybe, maybe it's because I got this Rasengan. I think that the Rasengan definitely there was, uh, what did most of the damage to you. Um, I'd actually like to see, so, hold on, you're still in curse mark stage one, right? Yes. Okay. So if I hit you with this, that did, that did 13 damage. Now, can you turn off your curse mark? So let's see what it does without curse mark. So that way, that did 13. Um, now put on stage two and let's see what it does. All right, so 50. Okay, so that does 10 when you're in stage two. So what buffs does that give you? With this one, with stage two, I got resistance one, strength two, and speed three. Okay, so wait, yeah, you you've got to be super fast then, huh? Let me eat a little. Oh, bit. I can, I can, I can. Oh no, I was about to say I can keep up with you, but definitely not. Oh my gosh, dude, you were zooming. Okay, so that's actually really sick. Um, I can see why uh why you were so useful in the war there. Um, did you have Chris Mark two during the war? Yes, but I didn't use it until later on into the war. Gotcha. Okay. Well, this is uh, this is gonna be interesting. Um, it was actually fun fighting against you. I don't think that I really felt any type of uh, any special energy yet, but I guess I should have expected that. I don't really have wood jutsu at all yet, but oh, that's why I don't have the book. I gave it to where at the start of this video. I was looking for the book. I was about to give it to you to read it, but basically what it said is uh, that I needed to become closer to nature. Um, maybe maybe if you want to start i don't know meditating on how your curse mark works and maybe see if it relates to this area at all because apparently um aware could feel something different here so maybe it'll make you understand what makes your curse mark work potentially i don't know but maybe if you can do that well uh while you're training here and let me know what you find um that would be that would be very useful i'll let you know all right well, guys, that is going to be all for this video. This one was a little bit shorter, but uh, we do have a lot now. We have Rasengan and we do have Rock Armor. So we're making our way towards um, learning this Wood Jutsu. Now, we do now have Draco, which he has Curse Mark, which Curse Mark is kind of like almost close to what I think the Becoming a Sage is going to be like. If he can figure out what leads him to be able to control this power, we might be able to learn from that. So obviously number one is learning this wood stuff, but once we figure out that, what he has too, we might be able to figure more out. So if you guys are hyped for the series, drop a like, subscribe, drop a comment down below what you think is going to happen in this series and um, definitely sub and I'll see you guys in the next one and uh, peace.